is post-apocalypse. We are, I hear some echo, we are locked away, some survivors, we are in the rubble of an old sandwich shop. And we need to have some idea of how much time we have before our demise. So what I, we're going to do is build a timeline in Excel. So I'm going to come out of here. I'm going to come out of my table. Okay, so I've got the date. The apocalypse happened on the 11th of May, 2019. And we want to know when will we have no food, no water, when will things be dire, and when will it be over? And then we're tracking today. And we have calculations over here for what we have. Okay. But the main thing I want to point out is making this timeline. So we the approach of the Grim Reaper. So I'm going to insert a scatter plot. Right. I'm going to select my X values. That's going to be the date. My Y values are going to adjust the height of these labels so that they don't start bumping into each other. So you can already kind of see a timeline is taking shape. I'm going to get rid of this. Don't need that. That makes no sense to us. Okay. Now what I want to do is her bars. I'm going to get rid of these. And then these I want to format. Format these error bars so that we just have the minus and go down here and make this 100%. Oh, okay. Now we want to add some data labels. And we want to, okay, so let's move that a little bit because of what I'm getting ready to do. That I want to the value from sales, and it's going to be this, and get rid of that Y value that makes no sense. All right, so now we can see when the apocalypse started, and today that's important, and when we start to get in trouble. And what this uh, this label height does for us is if things were too cluttered up, like water and dire. So if water and dire were both, say, um, say that was 15. See, that starts to overlap. So you have ways this label, this column, helps to keep things out of the way. So let's... Um, Make this 10. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to change this label so that it's more meaningful. File. Okay. That's when it's about over. 
And what I'm going to do is get rid of Demise because the picture of the Green Ripper is enough. And we're going to change this one. This is when the apocalypse happened. And let's put today so that we know. Make this red. So now here is our timeline. And this changes, this is dynamic. So if today becomes, uh, say today is say, 23 July 19, oh, we have no food left. We have water. Something has to happen fast. And then maybe somebody does find, okay, um, okay, so we just got ourselves three days. So there you have it. Cool. And I'm going to stop sharing my screen here. That's all we get is three days out of eating people. It seems like, hey, it seems like a bad hey. investment to me. What about Whoa. eating pets? Where does that come in? Because I'm not doing that. I'm just putting that out there right now. Well, the thing you is, you, you might get <laughs> to no, heave you're whole. You're going to feel you, differently about this. No, no. You, you might get to heave whole from the community. I don't care. I am not eating Danny Moon. My next hey, two cats. But... My next two cats are going to be named Index Match. That's all I know. All right. So oh, I'm not. Cool. E I'm not eating them. I will go straight to. Hey, the, I will. I will face the Grim uh, Reaper first. All right. All right. I mean, Sirachi's on that one. I, you know, I'm going to give. Um, I'm going to give four Sirachis on that. On building a. No, because it, it was um, it was an issue last night when I was trying to um, show how a report was not looking, how a report should have looked from the last date backward instead of from the first date forward, and to see it on a timeline it was easier to get. And um, also, I'm getting tired of, of um, business applications. Because you're going to be in the rubble of that sandwich shop one day in the darkness, wondering how much longer.